Coming up on the new news, word this morning that one of the best-known politicians in California history, Tom Bradley, has died. George is no longer a hurricane, but even so, it is still causing some big problems in the Gulf, and we'll show you how. Some good news for one of the best-known restaurants in the Bay Area. It may not be closing after all. We'll tell you why the White House is upset with this ad that comes from a top fashion designer. The Federal Reserve Board is expected to do something this morning that could end up saving you money. Your vote in the next presidential primary may have a lot more impact because of a decision in Sacramento. Plus, how much more rain are we going to get? We'll have the full forecast and more at noon. I'm working. Coming up in minutes on the new news, a mysterious oil slick outside the Golden Gate is threatening popular beaches in the Bay Area. We'll have a live report. The man who rose from a sharecropper's son to become the first black mayor of Los Angeles has died today. Celebrating's underway for Chicago Cub fans, but for the Giants, uh, the party's over. And a major move by the government today that's good news for your wallet. Just ahead on the new news. Coming up on the new news, major problems on a Bay Area freeway. At one point, cars were backed up for 15 miles. A live report coming up. Paula Jones is back in court arguing before an appeals court, and a lot is at stake. Members of the military are being told to keep their mouths shut when it comes to the president's sex scandal. We'll explain why. Plus, remembering one of the worst disasters ever in the Bay Area. It's all coming up in minutes on the new news. You're Coming up on the new news, remember that successful ad executive shot and killed by San Francisco police. Now there are new allegations coming out about another incident involving him and authorities. Would you pay a $4 bridge toll? That's what might happen if a certain project on the Bay Bridge is given the go-ahead. The largest toy recall in history is underway. We'll have details on what toys are involved and why they're being recalled. It was another rough morning for commuters in the Bay Area after a freeway was shut down for hours following a serious accident and a construction problem. Plus, we'll tell you why a prison is pulling the plug on the Jerry Springer show. You might be surprised when you hear the specific details. It's all coming up on the new news. Coming up on the new news for the second time this week, an early morning accident shuts down a Bay Area freeway. New allegations today concerning the advertising executive recently shot and killed by San Francisco police. Does your child have one of these? Millions of them are now being recalled. Plus, why some prison inmates are no longer being allowed to watch the Jerry Springer show. It's all next on the new news. Coming up on the new news, we'll be live with details on why a city in the East Bay is considering disbanding its police department. Authorities this morning filed charges against a suspect in the Olympic Park bombing. The only problem is the suspect's still on the loose. A young man convicted of a horrible crime at a Nevada casino was sentenced this morning. We'll tell you what the judge gave him. Authorities in one part of the East Bay plan to pass out thousands of flyers. They are also warning parents to be on the lookout. A new development in the police shooting in San Francisco that left an ad executive dead. Plus, wait until you hear who might be interested in buying the Oakland A's. Those stories and more coming up in 30 minutes on the new news. See you then. Coming up in minutes on the new news, this man was charged this morning with the Olympic Park bombing. The only problem is police have no idea where he is. This young man learned this morning that he is going to be spending a long time behind bars for a crime that made national headlines. We'll tell you why this Muni driver is being honored today. Plus, a well-known figure here in the Bay Area is being mentioned as a possible buyer of the Oakland A's. It's all coming up in minutes on the new news. Coming up on the new news, it's called the Ace Line. It's a new train that's now up and running in the Bay Area, and we'll tell you why some commuters couldn't be happier. A landmark lawsuit involving Microsoft begins today. It is a complicated case that could have a profound impact on anyone with a computer. Transcripts from the Paula Jones sexual harassment case were released this morning. What will it mean for President Clinton? We'll get details live from Washington. You are looking at a disaster in the making in Texas where serious weather has now turned deadly. Hundreds of firefighters are going all out to try and stop this wildfire in Southern California. Plus, a six-story building's on fire in the East Bay. We'll have live coverage coming up on the new news. See that. Coming up on the new news, new details about the major break in the case of a pregnant woman who was raped inside her home in Piedmont by someone posing as a flower delivery man. There are reports that a group has surfaced to possibly buy the A's. It includes a Hall of Fame baseball player and a man well-known in the Bay Area for starring in his own television commercials. 
God help us. That's what they're saying in Honduras as Hurricane Mitch prepares to make landfall. We'll tell you why this hurricane is causing so much concern. Also, we'll tell you where you can buy gas for 99 cents a gallon, plus a missing tree could mean curtains for a well-known Bay Area bear. We'll explain coming up on the new news. See you then. Coming up in minutes on the new news, police said they have caught this suspect accused of a horrible crime in the East Bay. A group has come forward to possibly buy the A's, and it includes a Hall of Fame player and a well-known local businessman. Short skirts may be fashionable, but are they appropriate in the workplace? Plus, we're going to tell you where you can buy gas here in the Bay Area for under a dollar a gallon. It's all next on the new news. Coming up on the new news, a sweeping drug raid in San Francisco early today as police look for drug suspects. A moderate earthquake this morning near Lake Tahoe, and it did cause some minor damage. Dozens and dozens of teenagers are dead, hundreds more injured following a fire overseas. What a wonderful world. Early morning wake-up call for the astronauts on board the shuttle Discovery will also show you some of the first pictures of John Glenn at work in space. Plus, a big party is going to be going on all day in downtown Oakland. We'll show you why they're celebrating, and it has nothing to do with Halloween. Those stories and much more all coming up on the new news. See you then. Coming up in minutes on the new news, police in San Francisco give a rude awakening to some suspects. A moderate earthquake hits the North Lake Tahoe area early this morning. There is some damage. Beaches in a popular Northern California city may be closed all weekend. We'll explain why. Plus, a fire in Sweden takes an unbelievable toll. We'll have those stories and much more coming up in minutes on the new news. Coming up next on the new news, we'll tell you what John Glenn and crew are doing on their first full day in space. A moderate earthquake shook up a lot of people in and around Lake Tahoe this morning. This is something you don't see very often in San Francisco. We'll explain what's going on. Plus, the political campaigns are in the home stretch. We're live at Union Square, where one candidate is getting help from a big gun. It's all next on the new news. Coming up on the new news, a strange story from the East Bay involving a package that turned up at a local fire station. That package has now forced authorities to evacuate some residents, and we'll be live with details. We'll also have complete election coverage. Democrats, including Barbara Boxer, were the big winners, although Republicans still control Congress. We'll go live to Washington for reaction and also details on what this might mean for President Clinton's future. Probably the most surprising result was from the Midwest, where a former pro wrestler did what almost no one thought he could do. Also, a possible break in the murder of an abortion doctor in New York will tell you what authorities said this morning. Those stories and more coming up in 30 minutes on the new news. See you then. Coming up on the new news, Market Street in San Francisco was shut down today and several ambulances were called to the scene. Do police have any new leads in the search for a missing teenager in the East Bay? A live update ahead. A pie-throwing incident may lead to changes for public officials in San Francisco. Plus, a pro wrestler says he's running for president and rain is rolling into the Bay Area. Rhonda's forecast and a lot more just ahead here on the new news. Coming up on the new news reports that a suspected serial killer wants to be put to death. A possible suspect is arrested following yet another slasher attack in San Francisco. Some Bay Area police officers take a tough approach to help young criminals go straight. Plus a major award for a Bay Area baseball player. Those stories next on the new news. Coming up on the new news, rain is pounding the Bay Area today. That's causing a lot of problems on the roads. How much longer is the rain going to last, and is it going to ruin tonight's home opener for the Oakland A's? We'll have details. A major development today concerning two men wanted for one of the worst terrorist attacks ever against the United States. More firepower, more men are on their way to Kosovo, and it comes amid a report that top military advisors were against starting the bombing. We'll get details on that live from Washington. Plus, a report that conditions are deplorable at one of the best medical schools in the country, a medical school that also happens to be right here in the Bay Area. Those stories and much more all coming up in 30 minutes on the new news. Look at all.
Coming up in minutes on the new news, all kinds of tra traffic problems this morning, all courtesy of Mother Nature. She is drenching the Bay Area today. How much more rain are we going to get? Rhonda will have all the details. Well, the rain caused problems for tonight's season opener for the Oakland A's. The live report ahead. A woman who made history in last week's election today boarded a train on her way toward making history again. Plus, a top college medical school here in the Bay Area coming within a vote of being put on probation. We'll explain why coming up on the new news. Coming up on the new news, police in Petaluma are looking for the two suspects who reportedly tried to kidnap a teenage girl. She is safe because of her quick thinking. In the East Bay, this woman is missing, and we'll tell you why authorities are very concerned. Have you seen this man? Police say he may be able to help them solve the murder of Lisa Norell. The price of a pack of cigarettes is about to go way up. We'll tell you how much more you're going to have to pay. If you're flying somewhere over the Thanksgiving holiday, we'll have some advice on how to make your travel a little smoother, plus a memorial today to remember an incident that changed the course of Bay Area history. Those stories and much more coming up in 30 minutes on the new news. We hope to see you then. Coming up on the new news, a live report on an alleged prostitution ring. Bay Area police say it was operating in this neighborhood. A new study is out on why women are having trouble sleeping, and it's not just crying babies who are causing all the problems. New evidence that monkeys might be smarter than first thought. They may even be able to count. Plus, have you heard about the new pictures of a famous radio personality? They don't leave a lot to the imagination. It's all coming up on the new news. Coming up on the new news, have you seen this girl? She has been missing since Friday night, and authorities now think foul play was involved. A live report ahead. New information is coming out about that confessed serial killer and the last hours before he turned himself over to authorities. An avalanche in Utah takes a deadly toll. We'll have details. Plus, a Hall of Fame pitcher from the Oakland A's has been diagnosed with an incurable disease. Details and more in minutes coming up on the new news. Coming up on the new news. A huge fire burned out of control for hours this morning in the East Bay. There were also some frightening moments when a firefighter was injured. The military buildup in the Persian Gulf continues, but this morning there is some possible movement from Saddam Hussein. What will it mean? We'll get details live from Washington. One of the most infamous serial killers in recent That's memory, a man who terrorized New York City, is now preaching the word of God from his prison cell. That has created some controversy. Plus, a strange story about a Bay Area family preparing to bury their son, only to find out that the body wasn't his at noon. Coming up on the new news, it was the ending no one wanted. A teenage girl from Pittsburgh is found dead. Now the East Bay town is in mourning. We'll have details on that and the latest on the search for her killer. San Quentin Prison is in lockdown just hours away from the controversial execution of a death row inmate. A nightmare commute this morning for BART riders, all because of problems at a key station. We'll tell you what happened. A huge explosion at a California apartment house. Authorities say it was a bomb. Plus, the Rolling Stones coming back to the Bay Area, but what makes this tour different is where they're playing at noon. Coming up on the new news, students at the school in the East Bay are in mourning after learning about the murder of a classmate. Details ahead on that and the hunt for the killer. This is not what you want to see at a BART station during the height of the morning commute. We'll explain what happened. The Rolling Stones are returning to the Bay Area, but this tour is much different. You'll find out how. Plus, what's going to happen now with Iraq? We'll have late details from Washington. Those stories and much more coming up in minutes on the new news. We hope to see you now. Coming up on the new news, three high school students in Napa were shot this morning. One boy is in critical condition. As police look for suspects, they're asking this question. Is this another round of gang-related violence in this small city? We'll have a live report from Napa. For 10 months, we've seen her face. Now, for the first time, we hear the voice of Monica Lewinsky. Her phone calls with Linda Tripp were released by the House Judiciary Committee today. We'll have highlights. Meteor showers light up the sky, but have they caused any damage to the hundreds of satellites in orbit? And the Hollywood Madam gets released from a Dublin jail today. Those stories and more coming up on the new news. Just ahead on the new news, a triple shooting in Napa. Residents are worried that gang violence may be getting out of control. We're live with the update. 
You've seen her for months. Now you'll get to hear her. We're live in Washington with the Lewinsky tapes. A policy requiring supermarket employees to be very friendly to customers is leading to a lawsuit. Plus, the Fed just made a decision on whether to cut interest rates. That story coming up on the new news. Coming up on the new news any moment now, we'll find out if authorities in Michigan are going to charge Dr. Jack Kevorkian for killing a terminally ill man, a death that was shown last night on national television. A huge mergers in the work involving two well-known companies here on the Bay Area. We'll tell you what the deal would mean. A daring rescue this morning after a worker was shocked by an arcing power line while on a Bay Area billboard. We'll tell you how a toddler is doing after falling from the seventh floor of a South Bay hotel. Plus, our first major storm is hitting the Bay Area today. Rhonda will tell us how long it's going to last and how much rain we're going to get coming up in minutes on the Noon News. Coming up in minutes on the Noon News, we'll tell you how long this winter-like storm is going to last and which areas are going to get hit the hardest. The storm caused a frightening scene on top of a Bay Area billboard. We'll show you the daring rescue. Do police have any new leads in the search for whoever left a newborn baby at a Bay Area church? Plus, has Dr. Jack Kevorkian finally gone too far by actually killing a terminally ill man and then airing the death on television? Those stories and more are coming up in minutes on the Noon News. Coming up in minutes on the new news, more U.N. weapons inspectors leave Iraq because a U.S.-led military strike could happen literally at any time. We'll have details ahead live from Washington. Hundreds of troops from Northern California are now on their way to the Gulf. A TV show is taking a new look, hoping to catch a serial killer who terrorized the Bay Area 30 years ago. Plus, smokers get ready. The cost of your habit is about to go way up. We'll have that coming up on the new news. This thing. Coming up on the Moon News, his truck has been recovered, but what about the missing postal worker? We have exclusive new information on the investigation. The president this morning makes a major announcement that concerns something each and every one of us depends on. The latest high-tech gadget coming to Silicon Valley is making its debut this week, and it's not what you think. Plus, boy, it was pouring this morning. Is more rain on the way for this afternoon? And what about the Sierra? Is that area going to get more snow? Complete storm coverage coming up at noon. Coming up on the new news, several developments concerning the possible impeachment of President Clinton. There are reports that Mr. Clinton might make a, quote, dramatic gesture when he returns from the Middle East. Also today, this key Republican congressman from the Bay Area announced which way he is going to vote on impeachment. We'll tell you what he decided. We'll also get some reaction live from his district in the South Bay. In Southern California, prosecutors are once again going after this ex-Black Panther. They say he should be returned to prison, and we'll explain why. Plus, another water main break in the Bay Area, and this one couldn't have happened at a worse location. Those stories and much more all coming up in 30 minutes on the new news. We hope to see that. Coming up on the new news, this Republican congressman from the Bay Area announced this morning how he is going to vote on impeachment. We'll tell you what he decided. Another water main break in the Bay Area will be live with details on where it happened and what kind of problems it's causing. A dramatic rescue involving a man who was buried alive for hours. Plus, we'll tell you why prosecutors in Southern California want a well-known ex-Black Panther back behind bars. Those stories and much more coming up on the new news. Coming up in minutes on the new news, U.N. inspectors leave Iraq amid word that a U.S. military strike could come at any moment. We'll get late details live from Washington. A Bay Area congressman who just had major surgery says come hell or high water, he's going to make it back to Washington. You need a lot of women. A lot saying. of women. Coming up in half an hour on the new news, new developments in the investigation into the South Bay accident that claimed four young lives. A suspect is in custody and he has been in trouble with the law before. We'll have a live report. The fourth major fire in San Francisco in less than a week leaves 50 people homeless this morning. Some rescuers had to be rescued in Michigan when their boat overturned in icy waters. New dietary guidelines make 12 million Americans instantly fat. And we'll let you know if you're one of them. And there's a new way that couples can see what their future baby may look like. And we'll also have the forecast into the new year at noon. 
Just ahead on the new news, a suspect in the fatal crash on Highway 101 injures himself trying to avoid arrest. We'll be live with details from the South Bay. Rescue crews mount a dangerous icy rescue on a frozen lake to save stranded fishermen. The woman who delivered eight tiny babies talks to the public about it for the first time. And couples often wonder what their future child may look like. Now a new machine can show them. Those stories and more straight ahead on the new news. Want to escape your... Up next on the new news, a South Bay man faces charges in yesterday's fatal wreck on 101. Reich.